Hey guys, Andrew here. What I'm going to talk about today is Underworld Football Manager's major update. This is the first update that's happening in the game since I'm playing. Today is the 10th day, I think, that I'm playing. And I would like to talk a little bit about the updates. So let's, let's read them. New and Enhanced Club Emblems. I'm going to show you my club emblem. Okay guys, this is my club emblem. It's really nothing special. I didn't really care much about it. I just made something so it looks... I really it didn't care. So, what they did, and that's that I, and I see that now, is they made you a free change. It used to cost 10 gold. I like this update for people who like me just just made any emblem and I thought I could change it later. I just wanted to start with the game. Many people do that. So I did that. I made anything really. I don't even like this. And when I wanted to change it last time, I had to pay 10 gold to change and I just backed out I left this page and I never changed the emblem but now since I can change it for free I will probably do it later on after this after I uh, record this video I'm really happy about that I'm gonna check if they added anything new I think these are the same as before Maybe they changed the colors. They probably added some new colors. I think there are more colors than they were. there were. Okay, I'm not gonna make any guesses. I think there are. But the biggest change is this. You can change your club emblem now for free. I think this is a one-time deal. The next time you will probably have to pay. So I'm gonna check what else they did. All new sound effects. Okay, this is something I don't care much about because when I play games like this on mobile or like I'm doing now at the moment on my PC, I listen to music and I turn off the audio of the game. I don't really mind this. It probably takes a lot of time. I'm not gonna say this is a small update. This probably took a lot of time. And kudos for the developers. Quicker bidding rounds. I will admit, I only tried bidding two times. I didn't have enough money to get the player I wanted, so I stopped bidding. I have quite a lot, I have quite a lot bidding tokens, 77 actually, I can probably get some players, but most of the time I don't have the money. Money is really hard to get, when you mostly get quests that make you bribe or attack people, especially when it says you have to bribe with the items that cost 22,000 money. And, of course, you can fail. So there's just 22,000 money down the drain. I didn't buy any money using gold. I will probably not do that yet. Maybe I will do it in the future. But for now, I'll just say that quicker bidding rounds doesn't affect me much. But I think it's a good update. Everybody wants to save time. Like they say, time is money. League, league rewards up to 10 times higher. Okay. Uh, just yesterday I won my first league. And I think I got about 100,000 money. I'm not sure if that is the correct amount that I got. But I think that's it. I'm not sure if I got the reward straight away. 
was it 10 times higher straight away or is it going to be like 1 million in the future it, it says here up to 10 times that can mean like the A league maybe gets a 10 times higher upgrade the B league gets a 9 time the C gets 8 and so on that would be fair I like better rewards because I think the quests are not cost effective at the moment you spend a lot of money on items and the money you get from the quest rewards just doesn't cover anything like you're you're always in the negative balance new hot potato achievement and more achievement levels I'm going to check this out okay let's see what's new I'm not sure I didn't open the museum a lot maybe these colors are now different not really sure about that and I do not see the hot potato yeah there is no hot potato achievement maybe I'm just blind I'm gonna move one more time no there, there's really no hot potato achievement I'm not sure what they mean by this maybe it's a hidden upgrade I mean achievement maybe when you do something it will appear and probably only 1% people are going to have that so for now I have no idea what's it about maybe it's a bug they will tell us soon Underworld Football Manager is now in okay I like this a lot because I think the game should be in as many languages as it can I will probably suggest my language Bosnian into the game soon I will do that in the suggestion tab it's not hard I will help them do it if, if it's there if, if there is a need and that's about it I don't know what else I'm going to say about this it's really good new ways to get gold for free including signing up for our newsletter which is coming out soon okay we need this we definitely need this gold is expensive gold is paid by real life money some people don't want to spend any money in the game so new ways to get gold for free is always good it will come really in hand handy so this is a good update from the developers they are not just thinking about ways of earning money they are doing something for the free players and as usual many tweaks and improvements okay this shouldn't be looked down upon I think there are many updates they do they always fix little updates little little tweaks bugs things that can stabilize the game this I wouldn't call this a major update that's my honest opinion I expected more things when I saw the major update on the picture so I'm going to read until the end maybe there are some things left that I didn't see the latest update will soon be will soon be available from the App Store although some of the changes will be available instantly okay this is this sentence is where I think is about the league rewards because I probably got 100,000 money from winning the league I will I will not get 1 million or I wouldn't have gotten 1 million if I had won it today that's what I think at least and you will have to wait a couple of days if you're on iOS too bad for the iPhone users let us know here if you have any feedback feedback you would like to share okay I, I read these posts before Carla is asking uh, should the challenge tab go away when we are finished and they say the idea was that it would shut down uh, no count down to our next 
daily challenge tab. They asked her would, would she like to disappear and she says maybe there should be a poll for the players and I like her answer. It wouldn't be wise just to listen to one person of course. We can suggest that in the suggestions or they can make a suggestion and let us vote for it of course. She's also asking about some colors here and they say, say why they didn't put the colors there and somebody is asking something about rankings. Uh, I translate it and they ask how are the points that make the ranking calculated and the admins of the page said many elements affect the ranking but mostly it's the power of the users, level of our players, our weapon, weapons, facilities, and so on. There's one more thing I have to show you that I've seen, and that's this post. Ashley made it. Thanks for the update. I was expecting a little bit more, but that's just my greed. I agree with her. I wanted a little bit more too. Maybe I'm missing some tweaks. Has the community pitch been nerfed even more? She must be an older player because she knows what happened before. I've got a lot of old players and one would expect with the growth of the club and with better talent spotters I would get better returns there. This is the eighth time of blowing money on the pitches to find no one of any use. Anyway, I've plowed on to level 51. Wow, she's level 51. Really nice. I'm not bored yet, but I'm getting to the stage where it's becoming unrealistic in the fact of my revenue stream. Size of the club isn't attracting good players. I don't expect silver and gold, but at least half decent bronze. Good solid update aesthetically. No complaint, but it's still the same game and some mechanics are borderline becoming broken all in the name of gold sales. I have spent quite a bit money on this game and just let me warn play players in advance, spending money doesn't always mean you will level higher or attract better players. Still no transfer market and still no marketing department, no attendance figures, no newspaper talk. Let me know. If you need any help balancing any new feature you'd like to implement, highly recommend this game. It's a pretty progressive slowing up. There are two comments down under, and this is with what I liked because the admins of the page are really active. They are answering any question they can. So let's see what they said. Thanks. And first of all, I will say it is lighter, the update than initially intended in terms of new features. This is because there are many smaller elements there from things which you'll quickly notice. Players now asking for items in the stadium to a lot of enhancements behind the scenes in areas like the bidding. In fact, the amount of fixes was in the hundreds. See, this is what I was talking about when I read, uh, as usual, many more tweaks and improvements. They do many things. The developers are really doing a lot of hard work to make this game stable, faster and better for us. Oh, and we did push a silent improvement a few weeks ago to our match algorithm. This is probably when I wasn't playing. It didn't affect me. Other things, of course, may or may not affect you. For example, the new languages, of course, won't. But the achievements, a lot of new levels added there. I like this. It's good that he said a lot of new levels, which means more often you will get badges. Badges give you rewards, money, experience, and items. That's good. We didn't change a thing in the community pitch this time. Changes are overdue there for sure, though. Which aspect, aspects do you feel are becoming broken in the favor of gold spending? This is our area we are quite sensitive about and for example if this was in relation to getting gold players it's a balance we are still not as I know. I'm not sure what he said here. 
Features missing, which you mentioned, yes, they are not here yet, but I will let you know when we make good progress in the design of the syndicates, which you plan to be a next proper big release for you. Anyway, I hope you appreciate the brief summary. Thank you, really appreciate it. I will let you know my thoughts in the next week or two. I appreciate how difficult it is to make a game, and I do love this one. No mobile game has had my affection as much. If one was to look at the value of gold that has been purchased to progress in the game, it is a little bit unbalanced. For what I have spent, I could have bought a full retail video game. I have always been at odds over microtransactions and how mobile games pay out. I do believe you have a good setup and I just don't think that I will purchase more gold in the future. Some of the upgrades to facilities cost far too much gold. To the extent that you may as well wait 48 hours, the decrease in level is just not great enough. I've sat with some facilities quite low based on the fact that level up is not worth leveling. Maybe using gold to get double levels or even triple. I don't like this. I don't like your idea. This would give too much advantage to the people who are paying. This would be just, just way too much, too, too powerful. I really don't like this idea. This would break the game definitely. Like, of course, there are people who want to spend thousands of dollars, but that would just make the game not not uh, competitive enough for people. Like there will be a hundred people who are spending thousands of dollars every week and those hundred people would always be at the top of the game. And I don't think that's fair. Okay, she says she's gonna hold on for the comments for the next time. You're doing a good job looking further forward for the next upgrade. Okay, I think she had some good points, some bad points, like she probably is spending a lot of money, she's not getting any good item, good, good players from the community pitch. I didn't get any silver players for a long time, actually I only got one silver player and that was as soon as I uh, unlocked the glory hunters. I now have Tic Tac and Iron Fist and I didn't get any silver players. I can even get gold players here, but I'm not getting any. What else? Oh yeah, there's this. This. This is the Underworld Football Manager suggestions web page. You go here and you can suggest some updates and then other players can vote for it. And if you get enough votes, it can be planned, it can be added, and so on. So, I'm going to talk about the things that are planned. There are six things planned. Sell or auction your unwanted players. I really like this idea. At the moment, you can only release your players and you only get the budget point, budget point back. It would be really nice to get money. I'm always out of money. And Anthony, the CEO, said he'll certainly do something new. Really nice. Add ability to retrain position players into other positions. This is really good. This is something that's done in real life. Many players change, pos change positions and they are able to play more positions, which is something they could add, not just retrain, but get players to learn new positions, but not many, like they can, let's say, just play everything on the right side of the, so let's say right wing, right back, right forward, and nothing else, they can't go any, anywhere left and so on. That's how some players do play in the real life. Prolong career of aging players. Through plastic surgery of items, Pseudo drugs. They say, Anthony again, the CEO said, they're playing, planning to have this feature. Uh, since I'm not a experienced player of the game, I'm only playing for 10 days, I'm level 31, I didn't have 
many problems with aging players. I have no idea what's the problem. I've seen the badge or achievement, not past it yet, where you have to beat at anybody of your level or higher with a team where everybody is aged 24 and more. So they are considering like 24 is some old age. I'm not sure why is that. I wouldn't think 24 is uh, old. Some people start declining after they're 30, 32, 35. You can see like the goalkeeper before playing at 40 years and he's still at peak. Not at peak, but he's still one of the best goalkeepers in the game right now. He's, he's probably top five goalkeepers in the world. Auctions. Fast increase of bid difference and 30 seconds around will speed up the auction. I think they, are, they did this when they said they fastened up the auctions. So I'm not going to talk about this. This is implemented. Sound effects and background music. They also did this, and this is something for Swedish people, I think. VK login support. I'm not sure what this is. Anthony suggested share this idea, so he's the CEO. He's going to add that. I guess that's something like Facebook or Google. You just click to be able to faster login. Apart from planned ideas. There are two ideas that are started, Turkish and Italian language. Okay, that's done. They said it is going to be done soon. They updated this about one month ago when they said this. So that means it took them one month to get the Italian language into the game. That's really fast. I like that. They can do many more languages, I guess. Let's see what else here is. Under review, only one. Youth Academy. They have to go to the drawing board with this one. We do want it, but in the direction we are taking it, didn't fit with the game as it is today. What ideas? Add breaking threats out of jail to the achievement. Yes, this is a really good one. This, this should be added. This is definitely important because I've broken out many of my friends out of jail. It costs 1,000 money, which is quite a lot when you consider you have 30 players and if they all end up in jail every day, you spend 30,000 money every day if you try to break everybody out. Let's say you don't even try to break everybody, let's say it's only half the people. So you try to break out 15 people, 15,000 money down the drain and you get nothing. Sometimes some of them send you a gift, but usually everybody is sending gifts to everybody every day. So. They would send you the gift anyway. You get nothing for breaking out your friends. Six votes. Players age once a season. A season lasts two weeks. So why can can players not age just once during the season? I like this. But I'm not sure how the aging system works now. Like I said, I only play 10 days. I'm not sure how that works. So I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, this is my suggestion. It has only one vote. That's my vote. Friends in your friend list get a yellow circle if they haven't logged in for three days. And if they haven't logged for five days, they get a red circle. This way you can delete friends easier and make new ones. I made a YouTube video about this. That's the video I uploaded yesterday. You can watch it if you haven't. You, you will see what I mean there. So that's about it, it for the patch update talk. Duration of this video is 26. I would probably make it a little bit shorter by cutting some unnecessary parts. So that's about it, guys. Thank you for listening in and I will see you next time. Bye.